guys, welcome back to Tools on a Budget. Um, today we're gonna take apart this uh, Hyper Tough 12 volt max, two amp hour battery. Um, these are the ones that have issues uh, when you run them on this uh, impact driver. I mean impact wrench, sorry. So let's go ahead and open it. It, sh it should be pretty, fairly simple. Just a couple clips. Oh. Like I said, should be, not always is. It's a pretty good fit on here. I got one. Now, I don't recommend you guys take it apart because um, this might not be the most high, highest quality plastic. So it might not go back together the same way. But we're doing this in the name of science and learning. So I don't mind if you guys learn a little bit and I do too. It's well worth it. Ah, I got this one. One more. This is an easier way to do it. Okay, so let's look at the voltage regulation here. It's using uh, two MOSFETs here. This is what I would assume is uh, the brain. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty, fairly decent. What I'm thinking is the cells are just a lower quality cell, which is why it, um, is there anything I got to take off? Might just be a really tight fit. Oh yeah, there we go. So the cells in here. It's a KAN. They're two amp hour batteries. So I guess the brand is CAN. Not really a name brand. So these are rated at 3.7 volts. This is a 18650 cell. Um, it's covered by the tape, but it's the only thing it could be. 2,000 milliamps each, so in order to get the 12 volts, they have to go from this positive to this negative, and from this positive to this negative, and uh, so on. Otherwise, you, you'll only end up with uh, 3.7 volts if you put them in parallel. So they don't appear to be the highest quality cells, but they're not the worst I've seen. Um, I honestly just think the they didn't tune it the motor right for when it's using this two amp hour battery um some one of my viewers did say he thinks it has something to, to do with uh the third connector let me, let me see i guess the third one in there that he said it, it, it's probably the voltage uh kind of like a overload temperature sensor or something like that which um, is probably correct on that. Uh, these batteries are, I'm sure these batteries were designed for this, but at the same time, they're probably not the highest quality. But like I said, guys, not the worst. I've seen a lot worse. Let's see what kind of, it's using R003. I think those are like IC chips. Mm. can't see the volt i can't see what let me zoom in let me see if i can see the mosfets yeah they, they are chinese mosfets are most of them are but as you guys can kind of see there
I think right there you guys can see pretty good. Like I said, guys, not the worst I've seen. Uh, definitely the weaker link, probably the where this. Honestly, if they probably just tune this, uh, um, tune the brain box in here to uh, adjust to the voltage on, that this has available. So they, it's probably trying to always pull um, the full whatever amps. Let's say they have it at, they say let's say twenty amps or whatever. It's probably always trying to pull. 20 amps and instead of going down with the voltage on this because as voltage goes down uh, you lose amperage uh, it's just common sense you know uh, so as it goes down they should have a tune in here where even if it gets a little bit weaker um, which is another thing a lot of people say uh, 20 volt tools like oh you have the same amount of power from beginning to end uh, that's just not true you always feel a lot more power on the tool when it's fresh off the charger um, like even Milwaukee, DeWalt, Makita, they all claim the same thing. They're like same power from beginning to end, which is, um, it's always going to be good power, but you could always tell a difference when it's fully charged. And, uh, that's, that's a difference between the big, the big brands and this one. Um, they actually go into extensive testing and tune, uh, the brain box in here to adjust to the volt to the voltage. Cause as you use this, the voltage will go down. I think... I think uh, 12 volt is like 13, 13 13.6, almost 14 volts nominal or, so, or something like that. Um, and then as you use it, it starts going down. That's why they call it 12 volt. Same with uh, Milwaukee. Even though it's only an 18 uh, volt tool, it's the same as the uh, DeWalt 21 volt. Because, um, or the 20 volt, whatever it is. I got to check what they, what they claim. But they're all the same. They're all 18 volt tools in the end. Um, it's just some people use the nominal, some people use the actual voltage and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it just comes down to the actual tuning in here and whether or not, uh, we'll get an updated version, like a revision. Um, nobody knows. Um, I, I mean, I, some people say it's just a hyper tool. What do you expect? I mean, um, for some people, this is literally the, all they can afford. And for those people, if they just go and buy this and, they can't let's say they just can't go and buy this one at that time they pretty much uh, have a useless tool not useless but um other people are saying oh this who takes off lug nuts with this um honestly i do if i if i didn't want to if i wanted this just to take off small bolts i'd use an impact driver you could spend a lot less going with this with this one here um this one's 40 dollars with the battery and the two tools why spend extra for this one if uh, all you're going to take off is 10 millimeter bolts um that's why it makes sense to that I use anybody use this for like tires. I mean, it'll take off tires. It's just um, when it's fully charged, it'll do it. And then once it drops down a bit, it, it keeps um, cutting off. It'll do it with this one. Um, somebody told me that it does cut off on the four amp as well. Um, haven't had that issue happen. Not saying I don't believe him. Um, I'm pretty sure he's uh, speaking the truth. I'm sure HyperTuff needs to go and uh, um, readjust uh, the um like the the curve on here um fairly simple probably for them to do uh probably like if they even release like an updated just the brain box honestly they should offer like a uh re return it and get like the updated version for it um but you know every company is different who, who knows maybe they won't do nothing hopefully they do um because it's a great little tool and at 59 bucks even if like i said if they raise it to 69 or 79 and they give you the four amp even then it's a killer deal um the only thing that could probably come close to it would be the bauer tools and the ryobi tools when they're on special other than other than when they're on special the ryobi tools are a little more expensive um but it's not hard to find a ryobi cell they're usually always um on so actually right now if you could check my last video they have a pretty good a pretty killer deal on ryobi um so if you guys are interested in Looking at that, um, make sure to look at the last video. It's I think I got like two four amp hour batteries, a charger, and an impact wrench for like $107 shipped. But yeah, guys. Uh, so like I said, these aren't the worst I've seen. Um, K K A N. I'm gonna have to do some research. I've never heard of them. Um, was kind of hoping to see something a little better in here, but what do you expect for the price? I wonder if I take these apart and solder some uh, quality 
LG cells or um, Samsung cells if it would still have that issue. That'll probably be what I'm going to try to do next. I'm going to try and um, get order three uh, cells and then um, like high quality ones and then try and then put them on here and then see if it'll even <laughs> take to them. Last time I did that, I forgot I forgot what tool I did it on. It didn't even, uh, for some reason, the brain box didn't even recognize them. So that'll probably be my next thing to do. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, if you guys remember, if you like these type of videos, uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. And remember, guys, have a great day.